Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we have this system of equations. We're asked, what is the solution? Now, it, originally this might not seem like it's gonna be super easy. We have this, which is gonna look like it's gonna turn into some quadratic. In this, we have a little linear equation. But we, what we can notice is that both of these have y equals something. And if we know that y equals four x plus 36, and y equals negative x plus nine times x plus five, y equals both of those things, then they're equal to each other. So we can write down 4x plus 36 is equal to negative x plus 9, x plus 5. Now we have an equation with one variable, and we can solve for x. So dividing both sides by negative 1 will make this a little bit easier. So we'll get rid of this coefficient. On the side, we'll have negative 4x minus 36, dividing both of those by negative 1. On this side, we'll have x plus 9 times x plus 5. And this is going to be a little bit easier to solve. Leaving this side alone for a second, we get negative 4x minus 36 is equal to this foiled out. Multiplying both of these by both of these will give us four terms. So we have x times x is x squared, plus x times 5 is 5x. Here, 9 times x is 9x plus 9 times 5, which is 45. Continuing on, negative 4x minus 36 is equal to x squared, plus 5x plus 9x is 14x plus 45. Now we want to get all, everything on the one side and set it equal to 0. This is how you're going to factor quadratics. Plus 4x plus 36 plus 4x plus 36. Let's turn this side to a nice zero is equal to x squared plus 18x plus 45 plus 36 is 81. Now, if you don't recognize this right away, that's fine. You can use the quadratic equation. Or you can notice that x squared, if we're doing for factoring it out, it's going to have x and x. And then 81 doesn't have a ton of factors. But if you try and find two factors of it that are going to multiply to 18, the options aren't going to be that crazy. So we have 1 and 81, 3 and 27, and then 9 and 9. So 1 times 81 is 81, 3 times 27 is 81, and 9 times 9 is 81. Which of these add to 18, keeping everything positive, because these are both positive? Well, 1 plus 81 is 82. 3 plus 27 is 30, but 9 plus 9 is 18, which is going to line up with here. So we have x plus 9 and x plus 9. And you can do this if you didn't notice right away that this is the form of the sum of these, the, the square, sorry, of x plus 9. Anyways, for this to be 0, one of these has to be 0. Of course, when one of these is 0, the other is 0, but we're ignoring that. So x plus 9 must equal 0. Subtracting 9 from both sides, x is equal to negative 9. So that narrows us down to these two, uh, because x is negative 5 and x is 0 in those, so those aren't options. Make sure c is still clear. How do we find y? Well, we know that y is equal to 4x plus 36. We know now that x is negative 9. So y is equal to 4 times negative 9 plus 36. 4 times negative 9 is negative 36, plus 36 is going to be equal to 0. So x is negative 9, y is 0. This is going to line up with that. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.